Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Trade Winds RV Center here to congratulate you on the purchase of your Coach McCatalina Summit Series 271 RKS Travel Trailer. You guys have picked a pretty cool trailer here. I'm going to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things, get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at your campsite. Got your awning just about as far out as, as it's going to go. And your slide. I've got it out because I want you to think about how much room you're going to need to park where nothing's going to hinder that slide from coming in or out. Preferably nothing hanging directly over top of it. Also, where your water and electricity hookups are going to be. Your city water is going to be on your off camp side or your driver side of your tow vehicle. And then your power is going to be all the way at the rear corner on your off camp side. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. You're gonna unhook your hitch. Hitch man's gonna go over that with you. First thing you do is level your unit. Simple hand crank on this one. I recommend putting a bubble on the side. It's gonna show you where your unit's nice and level. Find about the middle of the unit. Put a little sticky on the off camp side. And it gets your unit level. Once you got, got your unit level, you're gonna stabilize your unit. On all four corners of your trailer, you have stabilizing jacks and a three-quarter inch socket hand crank to run these down. Run them to the right to run them down. You can get an impact driver or a uh, drill gun run these down in a matter of seconds. What I do recommend is when you get to the bottom, if you're using power, to go real slow. Because all you want to do is bring these down taut. You don't want to lift the unit at all. You've already got it level. All you want to do is stabilize it. I also recommend stabilizing jack pads. Jack pads are going to protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt, debris, hot blacktop, uh, better distribute the weight. Just add to the longevity of the life of your feet. Once you've got your unit level and stable, next, next thing you're going to do is hook up our power and water. As I said, everything's over here on your off camp side. We do your power first. Your power cord stores inside here. 30 amp service. And should you need to plug into 110, you do have a 30 to 110 adapter that comes in your convenience pack. If you got your power hooked up, we'll hook our water up. City water connection. First and foremost, water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is going to reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 psi, protecting the lines in your unit. Always use this when hooking up to your city water or using your black tank flush. Hook up your hose, city water connect, water pressure regulator, but don't turn your water on yet. Let's find your hot water heater. On the rear of your unit, just to the right of your tire, your hot water heater. All we're doing at this point is returning our rod and closing our drain plug. Put that on with a socket, make sure it's nice and tight. Then we can go ahead and turn our hose on. Once our hose has been on for a little while, we're gonna come up here to this pressure release valve. You're going to pull on that and it's going to let air out of the lines, air, air, and eventually a nice steady flow of water. Once you have water flowing out of this, you know your hot water heater is full and you can light it from indoors. Turn it on. Now you do have an on off button in here. Keep that off. The only time you're ever going to want to turn this on out here is if you're hooked up to 110. Also, if your hot water is not working, come out here and check these bubbles. The bubble's up. Press the bubble back in. It's a reset. And should you have any other problems, Instructions are right here. Now let's say we're going camping and we're not going to use city water. We're going to use potable water. 
back up on your off camp side to the left above your storage is your potable water tank. You can fill this up with a hose, you don't need a water pressure regulator. Simply fill it up, burp your hot water heater the same way, get the, get the water into the lines, turn it on the same way from indoors. However, whenever you're using your fresh water connection or your potable water, is when you're going to want to turn on your water pump. Don't turn on your water pump when you're using city water, it's already pressurized. Alright, we got our water and electricity hooked up, we're all ready to camp, let's walk you around the unit, show you a few other things. Get your big pass-through storage here. Again, your potable water. Should you use potable water? Here's a fresh water drain. Plug to pull for that. The other docking over here is your cable and satellite. Your city water connect. Your black tank flush. We'll talk about when leaving the system. Here's your sewage outlet. And there's going to be the other gray tanks. Your slides, in your slides, these are called wipers. You want longevity of life for these, get some what's called wiper fluid for them. It keeps them pliable, gives a long life to them. Again, your power is back here on this side. Your rear stabilizing jack. This unit actually does give you a rear second gray tank to dump. It's an access panel to the back of your fridge. It's a hood vent for your microwave. Safe theory on backup camera. Should you decide to, you should purchase a device from our store that sets on the dash of the tow vehicle, give you a backup camera. Spare tire with a cover. Hot water heater. If you have your big awning, have it just about all the way out. I'll show you how to run it the rest of the way out. You have a leash link back here. Tie your dog up. Solid steps on your main entryway. Your outdoor speakers, big LED lights. This is a furnace heat release. If you run your furnace, you clear this, it'll get rather warm. And here where your indoor fridge is, you have a nice little table area. 110 for outdoors. Separate entryway into your bedroom. And again, your pass-through storage. There's a cover for your propane. Just want to mention on your propane tank, you do have a regulator. Simply point it to the, toward the tank you wish to be using. Open it up up here. It'll be green when your tank is full. When it turns red, switch it over to the other tank. And check your battery post terminals now and then. Make sure them are nice and tight. That about covers everything on the outside. Let's go take a look on the inside. Coming in your entry doorway. First thing I want you to notice is where the fire extinguisher is. Make sure that you and everyone is camping with you. Notice the fire extinguisher is by the entry doorway. Come up here, we'll pop up USB and 110s. Here's your control panel. Here's where you check your brand new battery, all your, all your levels of your tanks. This is where you can keep an eye on the fresh tank when you're filling that up to see when that's full. Here's your slide in and out, your awning in and out, exterior lights, interior lights, here's where you turn on your water pump, and here's where you turn on your water heater. Just gonna open up the door here real quick and show you how far to run the slide the awning out. On the awning, you simply just hit extend. When you start to see that white and that white flap folds down to 90 degrees, you know you've went out far enough. Come around and rest inside your unit. Self-explanatory microwave. You do have a fan and light above your stove here. Simply turn your stove to light. Hit your burner spark when your gas is on. That'll light up there. Same thing with your oven. Coming over to your Nordic cold fridge. Here's where you turn it on. Down below your fridge, access panel to your fuses and brake box. Here's your breakers, looks like you got mostly 15s. Uh, you do got a 40 in there, I highly recommend having a handful of those with you when you go camping. Here's your 110 underneath there. Your table legs will remove and set this table down on these lips right here. 
fold in your back cushions and that gives you a bed there and your sofa over here it's a good jack knife just grab it from the front lift it up and lay it down to a bed or lift it back up pull the back forward and you're back to a recliner very nice sound system you can play your music indoors, outdoors, or both. Uh, preset channels, CD player. See, it is prepped for a television. There's your backer, and there's where you hook it up. If you do put a TV in here, there's a little green button here. Before you scan for cha digital channels at the park, make sure that button's on. It's a digital channel enhancer. Here's where you turn on your heat. Just kick down, switch your heat off. Here you can turn on just a fan, or you can turn on your cool, set everything off, or just another auto fan. Just set it at the desired temperature. Come back into your bathroom. On the wall, here's your lighting. So what I mentioned in here, you have your 110 plug with GFCI reset. A little plumbing to maintain. Keep an eye on that over the years. And into your bedroom. This is also prepped for a television. 110 and USB on each side. And individual reading lights. You do have storage under the bed as well. It about covers everything on the inside. Let's close it up and act like we're leaving the campsite. First thing I want you to do is shut off the interior light up here. And you can see which individual lights you need to go through and shut off. So I'll go through and do that now. The most important thing when closing this slide up is you want to make sure that these doors are closed. Make sure they're last latched closed. The last thing you want is that slide ripping these handles off. Make sure them are secure. Nothing's going to impede the slide from coming in. Come up here and hit slide in. It's just rubber moving. Sometimes the bottom will come in before the top. That's normal. Let's see, it's settling itself down. I wanted you to hear that. Don't worry when you hear that. That's just a slide from keeping itself from coming in any further. See how important it was to have that bathroom door closed and the doors closed on the storage down there. Shut off your interior and exterior lights and head on out the unit. So bring any solid steps in. You want to make sure your exterior door is all the way out. You don't want nothing to hit this. Lift your door up. Hold it in, turn this to either side, and that'll lock that in there. Close your exterior door, lock, and deadbolt your door. Lift and turn that handle over, and it's all set. Let's go ahead and dump our low point drains. So just to the left of your bedroom door, these are two low point drains. Open those up. Go ahead and bring up your stabilizing jacks. Come around to your off camp side. If you're using potable water, use your fresh water drain, you'll open up and head on up to the dump station. At the dump station. Take your sewage hose and hook it up to the sewer outlet. You have three places to dump on this unit. One, two, and three. So you may want to get a couple connections, put them all together, but do them in this order. Sewage outlet, black tank. Pull that black tank, let it run until it no longer sounds like it's draining. Keep that black handle open, come to black tank flush. Open this up, hook up your water pressure regulator again, turn on that sewage hose, or turn on that 
the hose at the dump station and wash out your black tank. After you've ran that for about five minutes, take off your hose, close this handle, remove this hose, come over here to the wastewater holding tank, dump that gray tank. That's gonna be cleaner waters. Then you're gonna come to the rear and dump the other gray tank. This is gonna be cleaner waters, you're gonna clean out your sewage hose, take your sewage hose, put it right there inside your bumper, and head on down the road. Again, we thank you for your purchase. We hope you guys enjoy this trailer for many years to come. Happy camping.